What is I hear about you on this coming bill? We have a thing going. Like she has a heat into tail, but you feel like a handle she? I just try. Carrying a good name, you know. Everybody to be from Charlottesville to come upon you. Know the walker as a name that don't sky like a man. When I was your age, I had a woman in every village in Tobacco. And I used to keep all of them happy. Never let myself down once. But the meals was different, you know. On mornings, it was blue chubs, the wilks, paco water, cassava bakes, with some chocolate tea. In the day, a susumba soup, fish broth with green fig and dashin, or some cow heel soup, something to put some starch in your back. In the night, we used to swizzle up stout with milk and brandy <laughs> and two <toot> legs. <laughs> oh boy, when I hear you put that in the spine, so much trouble. <laughs> I used to work all day, one woman all night. <laughs> What you see in here is my hawks, you know, Michelle. But it's you had to carry out the good name now. Don't let no woman tie your foot before you're ready to get your foot tied. Black man wasn't born for no one woman. <laughs> in Africa, <laughs> men just have five, ten, twenty wives. Sometimes they have a foot in the grave and they're still looking for more. <laughs> but the white man, he civilized me. <laughs> He said, <laughs> one man for one woman. Because he back weak. He can't handle more than one woman. <laughs> a good nigga could handle 14 women one time. Two per night? For seven nights a week. That was the woman in your days. Nowadays, one woman does handle three and four men. Yeah. And because them fellas weak like trash. Too much pile of food and bush meal. Besides, when a man love a woman... He doesn't want no other woman but she. Huh? No, don't let me hear you use that word in this house. I have nothing named so. <laughs> it's a word woman does use to control man. And when a man's stupid, she make him wash clothes and cook food. All the things that she's supposed to do. <laughs> you know what your father used to do? Wash ways. You could imagine. I go by here one night and meet him washing ways. Boy, I was so shamed. I said, I wonder where I let him do. What I do wrong? I was so shamed, I could have kicked him. He was just helping. Helping? I was working for woman. If you give them a chance, they gossip all day and leave all the work for the Kunumono husband to do. A man's duty is to rule. And any time the woman street pulls you back with some right hand and a few kick. <laughs> Woman today does pull knife and chew hot water on their husband when they're sleeping. Yeah. One night, Scotty wife climbed down on the bed and soft me tail with a mortar press. Yes, them fellas breaking the woman bad. When I found that woman, I just let you know where I stand from the beginning. I just locked the door, cut your tail <laughs> good and proper the first night she with me. Then when she said. Well, uh, oh. <laughs> I just tell you that's just a warning. <laughs> it's a more where that come from. You crazy as ma. Woman say if you beat them, you <laughs> love them. So you have to show your love, boy. Come home. Look for anything to make noise, you know. Like like the rice too soft. <laughs> or the meat too hard. And as they argue, <laughs> stuff up the mouth with the right hand. But you don't want a woman. You want a punching bag. You do what I tell you, and no woman will leave you. That must be Ben. Come in. Morning, Mr. Joshua. Morning, boy. Everybody talking about you, but I can't see you at all. You're looking good, boy. Thank you. You too. I know how I look. How are you going, Roy? Okay. You come to City Visa? Yes, I invited her to Pigeon Point. She and she mother was talking about it a while ago. And what did her mother say? She agreed right away. But I was kind of doubtful. Doubtful about what? Your intention. You see, I's an old man. And I like to do things the old time way. 
I have no intentions right now except to take her to Pigeon Point. She come like my own daughter. And you know, woman is precious people. You got to treat them gentle and soft. I would like to assure you, sir, that I would take greatest care of Teresa and show her all the respect. Let me fire one for that. It's too early for me. Too early? For a bushroom? Never too early for a bushroom, boy. Morning, Steiny. Morning, Ben. Sit down. I was just fixing some tea, coconut, bacon, fried fish. You want some? I ate already, thank you. Go call your sister, boy. You're home for good. Well, uh, I haven't decided as yet. It's you young people to build a country, boy. I own I'm going to my grave just now. But I'm still bring me the news. She says she's coming just now. And woman is the same thing. It'll just take a year to put on two pieces of clothes. Hello, Teresa. Hi. You're looking very special. Thank you. Goodbye, Pa. You're not eating? I guess I'm thinking tongue, Ma. See you later, folks. Bye, Mr. Joshua. Bye, signing. Bye, boy. She's woman now. It's one hell of a thing for a mother to watch a child turn woman in front of the eye. Is nature. I know. And that is what frightens me. To do a bit of diving when I was younger. <laughs> and now you're ready for your rocking chair? Not exactly, but I'm out of condition. Roll does some. Maybe you can go with him one of these days. I think I'll do that. I've decided to teach. I think that way I can make a contribution to the next generation of Tobago. Teaching doesn't pay. At least not the kind of money you can make. Money has never been my great object in life. Seeing that I'll be staying here, I think we'd better get married. Married? But you don't even know me, Ben. I know enough about you and enough about me to know that we can get married and make it. I don't know, Ben. I'd have to think about it. Take as long as you want. Only say yes. You think you'd have life up there? Where? On the other planets. I know. I never think about that. <laughs> if you'd have life up there, I'm sure they're not stupid like what down here. Fighting and hating and killing one another. Boy. Hmm? I know why your mother hates me so. She's a funny woman, man. You mustn't take she on. She and my father was friends one time. Ma? And your father, Rufus Cummins? Mm -hmm. I hear some old people talking the other night. Say the two of them used to be close, close. And then his father went to Trinidad to look for work. And he met my mother. When they married, your mother and your father pick up. My mother never forget me. And she hates me from the day of born. She just tell people all kind of lie about me. <laughs> and now you and me together, <laughs> she could kill me. I don't care what nobody say, Louise. You is my chick, and nobody going to change that. <laughs> 